After years in the wine and spirits business, Michael Greer was ready for a new investment. We wanted to learn why Michael decided to change his career path and how he decided to invest in a new flex service car wash. Join us in Coming Georgia with Anthony Analetto as we tour Castle Car Wash. Hey Mike. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good. Hey, thanks for having us up here to take a look at the car wash and uh, see what you've done. Yeah, no problem. You know, we'd love to see a, a themed car wash like this here. You don't get a lot of them, but I think they've got a real lot of curb appeal, you know, and uh, I think gives you a little bit of competitive advantage, you know, kind of help people. Yeah, we really wanted to kind of stand out, and that way when people, you know, are driving by the wash and stuff, that way they see, you know, the big castle in the background, you know, kind of gets the kids talking about it a little bit, and the parents, you know, think it's a little cool, too. So. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit, what did you do before this? Um, I actually used to uh, have my own wine and spirit shop. I did that for about five or six years. Um, didn't really like the industry that much. It was okay. We made some okay money, but it just really wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, I used to run... Um, be a store manager for a company named Quick Trip a long time ago, yep. and uh, they actually were looking at getting in the car washes um, probably about, I don't know, six or seven years ago, yeah. and I talked to them a lot when they were looking at that, and it always sounded like something that was really interested in me, yep. so when I decided to sell my uh, wine and spirit store, I started looking at car washes, um, contacted Sunny's, which put me into contact with uh, car wash services in the southeast. Yeah, and we did, we did a couple car washes for Quick Trip. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, kind of a yeah. good thing that they decided they didn't like it because <laughs> there's a quick trip right around the corner. Oh, exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. they're everywhere here. Yeah, yeah it's kind of close. And uh, I drove in. Tell me about the competition. We've got uh, quite a few car washes in this little area. Yeah, we have some competition around the area. They're not really doing, um, they're, they're both flexor models, but um, really the level of equipment that they're using isn't what we're doing. I mean, we're kind of taking it, you know, up another notch. You know, yeah. we have, you know, our Dragon Foam bath. We have Buff and Dry, all these other things that we do that they don't even offer right. their customers. Right. Some of our, our premier car wash package oh, to exactly. offer. exactly, yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's what we get a lot from our customers. I mean, we, we're in a little bit of an affluent area. It's a little weird. I mean, we have some lower income, but mostly affluent area in this. Yep. Um, we get a lot of customers that come through and are just really surprised with how great their car works when right. come out of the wash. So tell me about the, the castle theme. All this came by you yourself or? Yeah, I mean, my bit? wife and I, I mean, we were, you know, we wanted to do something a little bit different to kind of stand out. We, you know, spent a couple nights just rattling off a bunch of different ideas. And a lot of the good ideas were already taken. I mean, you, can, you know, you just go through Google and see that. And, you know, one day, you know, I was just working at the liquor store and, you know, after we've been through a couple nights of that, just kind of brainstorming about what we wanted the car wash to be. And, you know, we just came up with Castle and it just kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. And then I know we, we all started the lava system and then the lava's growing a little bit more. And you've actually customized it. We're getting real excited to show the, the, the other customers we have out there how well you can customize it and make it unique and make it your own. You know what I mean? Well, I think the good thing about that is you can say, you know, you exclusively offer something. So that way, if you do have competition and even if they do upgrade some equipment that's similar to yours, yeah. it's still not really the same because you can say, hey, listen, we're the exclusive home of, you know, you do some sure. trademark and stuff like yeah. we did. And, you know, you can really, you know, focus on that. They, they can't get this experience anywhere else. Yeah. This year we didn't go just express, we kind of combined it, you did a flex surf. Correct, yeah. Why the flex surf? Um, I think really the income level in the area, um, there's a demand for it, my competition has it. I mean, it's just really something I felt like we had to do to provide extra services to the customer. Yeah. And the demographics here are pretty strong? Oh yeah, it's pretty strong. I think the median household income is somewhere like 70, 80 range. Uh, so that's yeah, that's fantastic. So that really justifies that. Oh, the exactly, yeah. And how's that been working? What, what kind of percentage are you capturing there? Oh, it's been great. I mean, we're, you know, depending on the day, you know, if it's rainy or not, I mean, we're anywhere between, you know, 15 and 25%, depending on what day it is. And you don't mind managing labor? You don't mind it? No, I mean, I, it's, it's like anything else. If you take the time and train your employees correctly, it's not really that big of an issue. I mean, it's all, it all comes back to training and all that stuff. And I learned a lot about that, you know, at Car Wash College because I've never done, you know, car wash before. So that was really helpful going down there and getting that training. And you're a master's certificate holder. You have all the classes on your Yeah, belt, I, right? I, I, had a, I had a lot of time um, to, you know, kind of spend down there. So I went and took all the classes. I just wanted to get as much information as I could before I opened up my own car wash. And the training's important. In the lobby, I saw that we got a bunch of certificates in there for the detail shop. Correct. So the detail training came from Simon Eyes, is that right? Yeah, we actually, um, I'd done a, a local detail training um, session at one of the car wash. Car wash services sets that up every so often. Yeah. And I went to one of those and I talked to them and you know, there's actually 50 question tests that you can give your employees. So you can actually print out a certificate and it's also good for your customers so they know you're not just throwing somebody in their car, but everybody that's going in their car actually knows what they're doing and has been trained and certified. I think it's a great idea. Kind of like in the oil change business, we have the oil change certificates. Oh, exactly, yeah, something feel, very I mean, similar to that. You're yes, providing sir. a much more valuable service yeah. and they feel better than someone else that they're doing. Yeah. That's great. I'm excited to look at the menu and, and uh, see what else we got. We'll take a walk up to the front of yeah, the wash. let's go. And we'll see what else we got there. So 
So like, the entrance is very attractive. Um, we've got quite a few packages. We've got a $19 package here, a $4 base. Tell me how you came up with all this. Um, a lot of this came from, you know, talking to Sonny's. I did, um, I went with their marketing from uh, Car Wash College down there. I spent a lot of time, like we were talking about earlier, um, with the training and everything. Yeah. And I started talking to Robert Andre a lot, and we started discussing a lot of this stuff. And um, it kind of just snowballed from there. So um, once I decided what type of things I wanted to offer, we wanted to try to put them in packages and so we could explain things and kind of make them look great as they go up and yeah. at the price point. Um, so, so pretty much the biggest thing we did was the Dragon Foam Bath. We spent a lot of time on that. Um, mm -hmm. Car Wash College was great with coming up with, you know, the Dragon Head and the Flame. I mean, they, they did all this. You know, we kind of went back and forth about kind of yeah. what I wanted it to look yeah. like and they kind of made that vision come alive for right. me. Um, so that was really good. And then, you know, all this other stuff, you know, the hot carnival wax, the waterfall double bond, you know, I wanted to do the buff and dry so you could actually see that it was a thing so you wouldn't just, you know, have the words right. out there that yep. way you have the icon. Yeah, it's like more equipment, right? So they see more equipment, they're getting the wash here, but they get more equipment for the buff and dry, the polish machine, the rain -X. Bug removal, I see it on this logo here. It's also in the top package too? Correct, yes. And, and not on these two? Correct, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little labor intensive and depending on how bad it is, I mean, it could take up to a minute to load the car with it, so you yeah. only want to put it on your top packages. So that way, whenever you're doing it, you're actually getting paid to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's kind of where we were thinking. But it's a great service for the customer, especially if they just came back from a long trip, driving at night, you know, not a whole lot of car washes can get all the bugs off when they go right. through. So by offering that as a package, and it's easy to upsell, because when you have your people up here on the weekend talking to customers, you know, yeah. if they see a lot of bugs on the front, you can easily point them to the top two packages and be right. like, listen, you know, we get all those bugs off the front for you, and it, it helps really uh, raise the average yeah. of the ticket. And how about the express services? Pretty simple menu, or is there more to it than this? I mean, or? those are our two uh, big um, express packages. We have another menu that has a couple more. We do like a little headlight restoration stuff, but those are really the ones that we want to push. And what we did with these to really add value to the customer is we included our royal treatment wash in with the detail services. So it's an easier selling point when I could say, well, listen, you're getting this $19 wash, you're getting a $10 in clear interior, so your express wax is really only costing you 10 extra dollars. Right. So it's easy to sell it to them that sure. way. I also see we got some RFID readers on here. Are yeah. you doing a club plan or a Yeah, month? what we actually do is we call it our royalty pass, you know, trying to play on the castle theme. And um, we've been really competitive with our monthly charges for that because like we spoke earlier, we do have a lot of competition in the area. Nobody else offers an unlimited plan. Okay. And since we have no place, you know, for license plate recognition or anything like that, a lot of people talk about, you know, weather guarantees and stuff like that. And we just immediately start selling them the unlimited plan because it's an easy fix because like our $15 wash here on our best, we charge $29.99 a month. So if you're coming twice a month, it's paying for itself. Wow. So we got a lot a of people deal. to sign up for that. Um, and we offer some lesser plans for these that are a little bit cheaper, but about 85% of our unlimited customers always go with that plan. Really? And they, and they like it there? You get, oh yeah, people love it. I mean, they, you know, a lady came in earlier today, said she can't believe how great it is that she can come and bring her car by any time. And, you know, they, they tend to use it a lot when they first, when you first get it. Yeah. But then, you know, it kind of falls off to about three to four times a month. So it's not right. really costing you that much money and you're yeah. getting a good customer service out of right. it. Right. And the more they wash, the easier it is. The cleaner oh, the car yeah. gets. I mean, especially with, with the, the bug services. removal, yeah. the unlimited customers, I mean, instead of having to take the mesh bugs, punches and all that stuff, we're barely hitting it with the brush because the bugs just slide right off. Right off. Yeah, that's nice. And then um, you got some display on the uh, auto cashiers as well. You were able to customize those a little bit. It's got that franchise appeal to it. Correct, yeah, and that's kind of what we wanted to do. Um, I spoke earlier about the uh, service station I used to work for, Quick Trip. They're very corporate, you know, they have five, 600 stores. And that's really what I wanted to do to the car wash. I wanted to, kind of what Quick Trip did for convenience stores, what I wanted to do to the car wash. Give it a very big corporate feel. Yeah. All my guys wear, you know, the same shirt with the logo. They have jackets with the logo, all that stuff. So everybody knows who's actually working at the car wash. Right. Right, and that helps. It gives you that brand name look, franchise appeal to the customer. They don't feel like they're going to a mom and pop and a little bit nervous about what they're doing. Oh, exactly. They feel like yeah. it's a part of a bigger corporation. Mm -hmm. Well, that's neat. Let's take a walk down and take a look at your Dragon Foam. All right. And your dispenser at the tunnel. So here's my favorite part is we get to talk about some equipment, some of the entrance, what they say. Yeah. The equipment package from the logos. We see we did a, uh, the, the Dragon Foam with the chemistry, uh, the spider combo unit. We've got the high pressure rinsing, the waterfall, and we've got the top pressure there for the real polishing part of it, mm -hmm. which is what makes that whole dragon foam with a total shine experience really have value. You know, when you polish that in uh, with the wax that we have today, the sealants, it makes a big difference on the car's finish. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and kind of the reason I wanted to start going with, we call it the polish and shine machine with the top brush, 
is you know the other the other thing that we had looked at before was kind of the pendulum with the side to side mentor. Yeah. But I think that actually adds value because you can actually sell it as something as a package. You know, the pendulum with the side to side mentor is kind of hard to sell to the customer because they don't know what it's doing right. or anything. And, like and it's that. on every car. Yeah. Exactly. But if you got the polish and shine, it's like, oh, I'm getting something extra. Yeah. And is that on every car, or does that only go on those top two packages? That's only on the top two packages. Right, so that's, again, more value added, more cleaning. Exactly. And, and it's nice, people used to say to me, you know, I paid more money, how come my cars don't look any different? Well, all we, did, all we did was put the wax on, and that's all we did years ago. Now, actually, we're cleaning and shining the car, making a better finish than we had before, and it puts more value to the service. Yeah, and it's really good when, you know, you get somebody to get your top package. I mean, we call it the royal treatment here with a dragon foam, and you got the hot carnauba wax and everything, and then you get somebody that's got a, you know, lower package behind them, and they see all this stuff going off on the car behind, you know, in front yep. of them, and, you know, they're not getting the exact same thing. Sure, yeah, and, and it makes them feel like, okay, how, what, did I, what did I miss, and how did I not get that, right? Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Talk about the signs here. We've got a little sign about uh, keeping vents closed for dragon foam, and we know that from the circulation part, we can actually yeah. pull some soap in. The neutral low break, but this is what I'm seeing now with all of our new uh, complete systems with the Total Shine, is a confirmation cabinet. Right. right, doing more than one thing. It, I, I believe it tells us one that you know you bought a wash over there. There was a couple of people in line, but we know what you got, and here it is conf confirming again that you bought our top wash. But also, it's telling you guys do the bugs. Correct. Isn't yes, it? exactly. So like my guys have to whenever whenever we got on a vehicle, you know, it takes about a second for that to light up, and if the person got a bug removal, you know, they know immediately. We start spraying it down with the bug solution. We got our mesh bungee, which I talked yep. about earlier, that we take to the front of the car. Right. Plus, you know, it confirms with the customer that they know that they're getting the correct wash that they paid for. Exactly. Professional treatment. Unlike going to a fast food restaurant, making your order and getting the wrong bag and the wrong food. Exactly. Yeah, you know, we're giving them the same wash all the time. Yeah. That's neat. Uh, how about the first time car wash guy, right? People want to know, how hard is this? What was your biggest fears? Was it the equipment? Is it the employees? I mean, cha I mean, change of careers. Well, I mean, as a first time owner, I mean, never working at a car wash before. I mean, I took all the car wash college lessons and stuff, and that gives you, you know, a little bit of confidence. But then when it's actually, you know, you're turning all the, all the machines on for the first time, you don't know what to do. It's a little nerve wracking. Um, car wash services were really great. Um, car wash services in the Southeast, they came out here, they had people here for a couple days with me kind of training me on how to do everything when we actually had live cars working through. Yeah. Um, not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be as far as the equipment and everything. I think it's a little bit more intimidating than yeah. um, what it actually is. All right. How'd you open up? Did you open up free at all or just um, we coupons? Did free. We did free for about three or four days um, and just, you know, kind of getting all my employees, none of my employees have worked at the car wash before either. Yeah. So just, we're all just kind of getting our feet wet, you know, with the free washes. It went really well. And then we started charging that first weekend after, uh, yeah. after doing the free washes. What kind of advertising have you done so far? Um, I've done billboards, direct mail, newspaper. I mean, we've done we've done a lot of different things. What I kind of feel like has worked out the best though is the billboards. If you have billboards that are close to your wash, you know, you can put them up, tell them exactly how far away your wash yeah. is, kind of what a little bit about what your wash is about, and I think and I think that helps a lot more than direct mail. A lot of that stuff, a lot of that stuff, you know, ends up straight in the trash. And I, and I saw one of those coming in as I was driving down. I saw the billboard in the right. Again, it said 2.5 miles. Boom, you come upon it. But also on the right side was kind of neat. It was said that you were voted number one car wash in Cummins. Yes. And that kind of quick for a, for a five month old wash. Um, well, what kind of happened is, you know, there was a local uh, website that was doing votes of, you know, best restaurants, best car wash and stuff like that. So, you know, when the customers came through, I asked, you know, have you ever been to a better car wash before? And they're like, no. And if they, you know, if they agreed, I had some iPads in my lobby. I just went ahead and logged on and had them go ahead and vote for the car wash. But I mean, the, the customer response to what we're kind of doing here, which is a lot different than what I guess car washes have done, you know, in the past, you know, decade or so has really come on strong through the customers. I mean, the customers can really see the difference in the shininess of the vehicle, how clean it is, yeah. how they're not having to touch as much stuff on the vehicle as you would go through, you know, your more traditional washes. Mm -hmm. and, and again, the, the customer stays in the car. All the other car washes do the same thing, or are they letting uh, everybody yeah, out everybody, of the car? Yeah, everybody in this area, they still, the they customer rides, rides the car. Through the whole you know, car. They're, they're all true flex models, but, you know, they just didn't, in my mind, invest enough money in the equipment yeah. to make yeah. sure that they're getting the uh, product right to the customer. And now the other piece that you embrace right away, never having done this before, and, and again, top brushes in our industry at once were a very scary thing. Today, we now we have a top brush in the tunnel, and we're also doing a buff and dry. Correct. So we're wiping the car dry on there. We talked about that at the beginning. Nobody else has it locally. What's the ex customer's experience from that? Oh, they love it. I mean, I've, you know, even on my bottom wash, we have it as an, you know, a $3 upgrade for anybody. I mean, that's probably one of our most popular upgrades. 
because what does a customer want? They want to drive a car. Yeah. You know, there's no sense in running your car through a car wash. It comes out wet. You drive five miles down the road, all the dirt sticking to the water is just dry. The one thing I'd probably say that's different from most car washes that I probably couldn't live without is probably the buff and dry. Really? Yeah. And they and it is one of your biggest upgrades. Oh yeah. Think? I mean, without a doubt. I mean, if you can get your car dry. Just riding through the tunnel, I mean, that's what every customer really wants. And they'll buy it on the $3, the $4 wash. Oh, yeah, yeah, they'll on the $4 they'll upgrade, you know, they'll pay the 3 bucks. We have a lot of $7 washes here because they're always hitting the uh, $3 That's fantastic. That yeah. helps. That really helps. And your average ticket is pretty good, pretty strong, car wash only? Your, your mixed average, where are you at? Yeah, we're at about, um, about $11, $11, $12, depending on the month and what the weather's been like that month. So it's been, you know, it's been pretty good. That's fantastic. And yeah. it's, a, it's a big changing piece. I mean, it was always hard as our Express model started, it was a low price entry looking to do high, high volume. This new service with uh, Total Shine, Dragon, Lava, however you brand it, with the Buff and Dry allows you to get that 18 or for you a $19 wash. Yeah, well, That's I think once sure. the customer experiences a difference, because I think a lot of customers when they first see you know, $19 and you're not even touching my car. You know, you get a little bit of flack back from that. But once they actually see what it's done, I mean, we've converted a lot of customers, you know, especially when you first open, you know, offer it to them. You know, if they're getting a $4 wash or $9 wash, you're like, listen, you know, I'll go ahead and take your $4, but I'll go ahead and upgrade you to our top package just to let you see what it's about. So we do a lot of that, you know, yep. kind of get them used to, you know, the process and the differences, what makes this car wash different from yep. every other car wash that's out there. That's it. And once they like it, if it's an experience, they'll tell somebody. If it's a car wash, they just did their job, they did their, they took care of their car, they did their, their maintenance, if you will. But once they go through here and they, they get the experience of this car wash, they seem to want to talk about it at dinner with friends, and they recommend somebody else, and that word of mouth will continue to grow. I mean, yeah, especially with like our unlimited customers. I mean, that's where a lot of our unlimited customers come from. You know, it's mostly word of mouth. I mean, we haven't really advertised that a whole lot or pushed it a whole lot, but we get a lot of customers say, hey, my friend's got this. And what's going on is, you know, the friend's always got a nice, shiny, clean car because they're coming through on a regular basis. You know, they're getting, you know, one of our best packages and they're coming home and, you know, their friends are seeing their car and be like, you know, where are you getting your car washed? Oh, we yeah. get it washed up there at Castle. So even if their custom, even if their friend doesn't buy an unlimited package, at least they start coming up here and using the regular wash. You've been open, was it six months, Correct, seven months? Yes. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many members do you have? Um, we have uh, close to 300 members right. right now. That's pretty strong. Yeah. Very strong. Well, Lee, let's take a walk over to the, the uh, aftercare area and show me how you've got that set up for the uh, vacuum windows and detailing. All right, that sounds good. Right, let's take a walk. Let's go. All right, Mike, well, your first time in the car wash business and, and you really weren't afraid, you, went, you did flex serve. Um, most people have gravitated to Express because they want to get rid of the labor. Um, tell me how you're running this area. Um, well, I'm a little bit used to dealing with a lot of labor. You know, the previous businesses I've had and ran, you know, we've always had a lot of labor. You know, people having to stock shelves or clean things and stuff okay. like that. So the labor didn't really scare me that much. Um, finding qualified people that could do the job correctly um, was really a big issue for us. Um, what we did is we put airdrops on all of these. All of our detail tools are pneumatic tools. Yep. So no matter where we pull the car, we can do the detail right there so we don't have to have a separate bay or anything like that for yep. it. All of my employees, we actually bring them in when they get hired. They go through an interview process, drug screens, all that stuff, take uh, aptitude tests, all that. And then when they start their first day of orientation, they're not even allowed to touch a customer's vehicle. They bring their own vehicle, we run them through the wash, and we start walking through our processes and our procedures and everything on their own vehicle. That way, if they mess something up, they're messing up their own vehicle, not a customer's vehicle. Sure. And then they go through a certification program we kind of touched on earlier. They, they, the Correct, yes. I mean, the Simonize, um, Simonize has something you can just go online real quick. It's very simple. You can print out your own test. Um, you can take the test yourself once you've trained yourself and, you know, you can certify yourself and then you can certify other people because you know the answers, you know, have them take the test online and, you know, they'll get all that. But we also came up with our own uh, basic interior cleaning program. A lot of that came from um, Car Wash College. You know, Andre, um, Robert Andre over there taught a lot about, you know, the different procedures that actually take us to a uh, full service wash, let yeah. us go through some of those procedures. So we have, you know, kind of a little uh, variation of what he kind of trained us okay. down um, in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, processes are important, I think, so they can get the time down. How long does it take to do a service? Um, usually sure. basics, we're running about 10 to 11 minutes right now, depending on how bad the car is. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes it's a little bit shorter, sometimes it's a little bit longer, but on average, we're about 10 to 11 minutes. And then how about an express wax? Um, express wax, most of the time we're under 20 minutes. I Good mean, you get, if yeah. you're getting the basic done in 10 minutes, I mean, to wax the car, you got two people on the car, yeah. you know, it shouldn't take that long. That's fantastic. I know I walked through the property earlier, beautiful little lobby here with some iPads for kids. They got some games on there to play, kind of keep the customer busy for a little bit. That was a nice addition, you know, to this to the layout of the building. Yeah, I think uh, I think the more you can distract the customer, even if you, even when you're getting it done in 10, 12 minutes, or you know, waxes in 20 minutes, and express details in that time frame, I think the more that you can distract the customer, so they think it's, it was even quicker than what you actually did, sure. the better it is yeah. for you. Yeah. 
Now I know in, in the regular express model, labor runs between maybe eight to 12, 15%. Where's your labor all in with the, the um, Managers and everything included, we're running, you know, ballpark around 24 to 28%. You know, when you have your inclement weather days, you know, when it's just a little cloudy and overcast, you know, you have your issues with that. But besides that, I mean, it's, it stays pretty well online. Yeah. And you keep this open every day no matter what? Yeah, we actually, a lot, of, a lot of our competition around here, you know, if it gets cloudy or starts sprinkling, they close down. We stay open. Um, I've yet to have a day where my label is more than what my sales were. Um, so if you just manage it correctly, um, make sure you're well lit and customers know that you're open and that you're willing to do detail services. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of headlight restorations and, you know, carpet cleans and all that other stuff we've done on a rainy day. Yeah, you, you mentioned that earlier that on a rainy day, they, they when they come in, it's like a post-it note. Wax car today or get an interior or, you know, fix the headlights or do whatever, and they come regardless rain or shine. Exactly. Out right here, oh, yeah, so we got six six positions roughly to do interior cleaning. We there. actually have nine. We actually got, on the back section. Can, we actually have another set of drops back there. So you can push them out a little bit here and add them to the back. Exactly. And as long as we're sitting in our time frames, we never get backed up. I mean, because if you got to think, if you're positioning nine cars and you're loading them correctly, yeah. and they're all getting out in ten, about ten minutes, by the time you get that ninth or tenth car, you know you already got cars pulling yeah. out of the front. You got a lane through. Right? Exactly. And then how many free vacuums do we put up? Um, we put 19 free vacuums. Um, we also did some extra stuff that not all the car washes do. We actually put air freshener out there. We put a glass and surface cleaner out there. We gave them their own towels out there. That way it adds a little bit of value to the customers. It's something our competition isn't doing as well. So they're more you know, likely to come over here and use the free vacuum. So, even if, so if they get an express wash, they get to do some of their own hand cleaning? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're not, you know, I don't want to take over anybody's job. Some people really enjoy cleaning their own cars. We try to build a place to where they can actually come and do it themselves. I've interviewed a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. And when they get to do something themselves, whether it's just a vacuuming or if you give them the towels to wipe it down, they still think they wash the whole car themselves. Yeah. And that's okay if they believe yeah. that, we just sped it up for them. We just throw it from 30 minutes down to three minutes, you know what I mean? And they're in and out on the way. Exactly. So Mike, I, this is really fantastic. I, I love the outside. I mentioned the lobby. Let's take a walk inside and show them the lobby. Yeah, let's go quick. check it out. So again, we, we talked about your lobby. Very impressive. You carried the castle theme all the way into this little lobby here for a waiting area. Sometimes an afterthought for most people that want to do express washing, but I think in here you really nailed it right on. Well, I think it's important to give your customer some place that's comfortable, relaxing. Um, you don't want it to be, you know, a tense area for them. I think the warmer the colors that you have in here, you know, we went with the rock wall back here to kind of keep the castle theme. We got a painted concrete floor, yeah. um, you know, kind of keep the whole theme going. We got um, also purchased some iPads over there and put them in some steel enclosures so the kids can play on them and kind of get um, that feel for, you know, getting a little bit distracted, you know, have some fun with the games, their yeah. hands involved with them a little bit. So it was something that was really nice for the, uh, for the customer. Yeah, and like you said, Mike, you kept the leather furniture, the leather chairs, the iPads for the kids. You really kept the, the furniture here, the, the look of and feel the castle. I think it came out fantastic. You got TVs up here playing the news or CNN, and uh, very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. You know, I wanted to create a you know a light environment where you know people could be comfortable. They don't feel stressed out. You know, distract them a little bit. We have an outside seating area where we got you know sometimes in Georgia here it gets a little chilly. We got a natural gas heater out there and stuff, so they can even hang out outside if they want to stand outside and watch. Yep. And we got these nice windows where they can actually see the whole interior cleaning area with details, so they can actually watch the guys walk yep. down their cars. That's great. Well, once again, I want to can't thank you enough for letting us come down and, okay, and visit. Yeah. As a as a newbie, welcome to the industry. Yeah. Thank you. And so uh, you, you're very confident. I think you did a fantastic job. And I think a lot of our new customers that get to watch this will uh, get some confidence and be willing to take the jump and get into business. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. And as always, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This is a great flex serve, a beautiful location, a lot of thought and a lot of passion went into this location here by Mike and his wife. And I think they did a great job and they're going to be a great asset to our industry. And uh, I think I, I wish them a lot of luck and, and, and I wish them well. And as always, thanks for watching and good luck and good washing.